What's up guys, Derek here with Tap and Turn Gaming coming at you today with an EDH deck tech. Today's deck tech will be for the colorless general, Khan Silver Golem. He is a 5 cost, 4-4, four, four, legendary artifact creature golem. He's got some pretty cool abilities. Uh, whenever he blocks or is blocked, he gets a minus 4, plus 4, so he becomes an 0-8. Uh, so basically, in combat, he doesn't really do a lot. But where his real coup de grace is, his real good ability is that he can, for one mana, turn any artifact into an artifact creature with power and toughness equal to its converted mana cost. So if you have something down like a uh, seven cost Spawn of Isha, you pay one, it becomes a seven seven. It's a very, very powerful ability. It also is a really cool ability because it really forces your opponent to have to survey the battlefield in a different way. Normally you look at the battlefield, you say, oh, they have no creatures, they can't block, I'll swing. With Karn, it's not that simple. There's so many things to look at and measure and weigh, he really brings a drastic change to the battlefield as long as he's out and you have a couple artifacts. So that being said, let's get into the deck. Before I go any further, I want to show you my custom made con. I really like him. He's pretty cool looking. So I have my two cons. Put those off to the side here. The first one I'm going to go over is my land. Seeing it is a colorless deck, I had to go with a completely colorless land base. But first up we have Terminal Moraine, Terrain Generator. Radiant Fountain, Seraph Sanctuary, Miko Koro Center of the Sea, Swarm Yard, Mystifying Maze, Reliquary Tower, Arcane Lighthouse, Homeward Path, Rogue's Passage, Tomb of the Spirit Dragon, Jund Panorama, Esper Panorama, Naya Panorama, Grixis Panorama, Bant Panorama, Urza's Power Plant, Urza's Tower, Urza's Mine, God's Eye Gate to Reiki, Myriad Landscape, Temple of the False God, Unstable Frontier, Ink Moth Nexus, Mutavault, Springjack Pasture, Urza's Factory, Mishra's Factory, Quicksand, Desert, Tectonic Edge, Wasteland, Ghost Quarter, Strip mine and encroaching wastes. So that's more or less my mana base. As you can see, I have a lot of lands that destroy lands, a couple lands that can destroy creatures, gain a little bit of life. Uh, the nice thing about having a completely colorless land base is that most of the colorless lands come with some kind of ability attached, so you do get some uh, value out of that. So I'm just gonna put these off to the side here. Gonna go over my planeswalkers now. I run two. We have Karn Liberated and Ujin the Spirit Dragon. Because if you can only run, <laughs> if you can only run colorless cards, why not run the two colorless out <laughs> planeswalkers? Uh, next up, we're gonna go over the creature base. So we run Arcbound Ravager, Mirror Retriever, Shimmer Mirror, Junk Diver, Mirror Propagator, Scarecrone, Cathodian, Dros Scorpion, Suchi, Arcbound Reclaimer, Koldotha Forge Master. Duplicant, Soul of New Phyrexia, Worm Coil Engine, Steel Hellkite, Thopter Assembly, Triskelion, Scuttling Doom Engine, Mirror Battlesphere, Pentavis, Triskelavis, and Mycosynth Golem. Again, you know, a lot of big creatures, a lot of value in them, just more or less what they are. And then my last up is my artifacts. You'll notice I probably run more artifacts than maybe I should, but that's because for one man they all become a creature. So it's really just sort of adding to my creature base. And it's also a lot of mana rocks as well. So first up we have Soul Ring, Expedition Map, Mind Zone, Grinding Station, Energy Chamber, Nim Death Mantle, Contagion Clasp, Blasting Station, Worn Power Stone, Hell Vault, Unstable Obelisk, uh, mimic that. Darksteel Ingot. Oblivion Stone. Ashnod's Altar. Sculpting Steel. Titan Forge. Prototype Portal. Thran Dynamo. Neverell's Disc. Unwinding Clock. Sisay's Ring. Crowd Clan Ironworks. Trading Post. Lux Cannon. Conjurer's Closet. Mirror Works. Ujin's Nexus. Predator Flagship. Mirror Matrix. Uh, minion Reflector, Mirror Turbine, Planar Portal, Microsynth Lattice, Salvaging Station, 
Contagion Engine, Spine of Isha, Summoning Station, and Dark Steel Forge. And that uh, pretty much rounds up the deck. Uh, as you can see, it's just a lot of some of the better artifacts that you can have, some of the better colorless lands you can have, the two colorless planeswalkers. It's just like where you don't have any colors, you need to make sure every artifact or every spell that you're running rather has value. You just need to get value out of everything because you don't have any colors for support. So everything just needs to be value town all day. You know, everything needs to either have an comes into play ability or an ability you can benefit off of or a dying ability. It's gonna just do something. Um, or, you know, ramp you up a little bit, something. But uh, that's my Khan Silver Golem EDH deck tech for the day. Hope you enjoyed it. This is Derek with Tap and Turn Gaming. Like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know what you think. Thanks a lot.